my name is Jessica and this is Mom Talk Monday. Today's video, we're gonna talk about homemaking at the very basic level. Homemaking isn't just cooking and cleaning. It's about maintaining your whole space. It's about managing your family's schedule. It's about creating a happy and calm atmosphere in your home. It's about maintaining your budget. If you're traditional like we are, my husband brings the money in. I delegate where it goes. I am gonna share five things with you today about how to do homemaking and how to be a really productive stay-at-home mom slash wife. So the first thing is to start and end your day with dishes and laundry. Dishes and laundry take the shortest amount of time to do and the longest amount of time to complete. You saw my morning routine, you saw that one of the first things that I do in the morning is get a load of dishes going in the dishwasher and get a load of laundry going in the washing machine. It takes about 10, 15 minutes to do dishes. It takes the dishwasher like half an hour to clean them. It takes like five minutes to load the washing machine and an hour for it to wash. And so I like to get those two things going at once and that way while they're going, I can tackle other household cleaning tasks. The reason that I would have you end the day with dishes and laundry is because it's really nice to wake up in the morning to an empty sink. Like I promise you, tomorrow you will thank you if you clean your kitchen the night before. And number two, if you run a load of laundry in the washing machine, then in the morning you could just throw it in the dryer and you already kind of have, it feels like you have a head start on your day as far as cleaning goes and staying on top of laundry. The second tip that I have is to pick three big tasks that you wanna complete every single day. You could plan this out if you want to in a planner or on a piece of paper. Like on Monday, I wanna do the bathroom. Just like totally clean the bathroom. On Tuesday, I'm gonna do all the floors in the house. On Wednesday, I'm gonna really just focus on deep cleaning the kitchen and decluttering some cabinets. You could do it that way, or you could literally just take it day by day. You could wake up in the morning and you could look around your house and just pick three big things. Like, what could I do today that at the end of the day, I would feel like the house is so much cleaner. So for example, a lot of the time, I will scoop the cat box that lives in our bathroom, and then I will clean and wipe down all the surfaces in the bathroom, and I'll clean the toilet and my kids' little potty, and then my third big task will be to vacuum all the carpets in the house. And that's, that's it. Like, those are my three big tasks for the whole day. If you tackle every day, with like a ginormous to-do list and you want to like clean your house from top to bottom every single day, you're going to get burnt out really fast and you're going to feel really inadequate because you're not going to be able to keep up with that. Just choose three big things or if that's even too much, two big things. And every day, if you choose two different things every day of the week, at the end of the week, your house is going to be in pretty good shape. Tip number three is to meal plan and make a very detailed grocery list. I talked about this in my last video uh, about how to afford to be a stay-at-home mom. Meal plan so obnoxiously. It's gonna be so good for your budget. We're a family of four and we will literally meal plan like on a piece of paper, Sunday through Saturday. What are we having for dinner? What are we having for lunch? What are we having for breakfast? And then make a very specific grocery list for that. We're going to need like 12 steaks or 14 pork chops or whatever it could be. And we're gonna make that list and we're gonna stick to it. This is part of homemaking, planning and managing what happens in your home well. And food is like probably one of the biggest things. Try not to overthink this one. Meal planning doesn't have to be this insane thing where like you're looking for brand new recipes every week, going beyond your comfort zone. Unless you like to cook and that's your thing, I hate to cook, it's not my thing. My husband and I have a few key meals that are really our favorites and we will just revisit them again and again. And if he gets bored of something, he'll just let me know and then I'll switch it up. But I don't go out of my way to stress out about making like these extravagant different kinds of meals. So try not to overthink meal planning. Really just choose like three or four of your favorite dinners and just rotate them. And uh, for lunch, leftovers, make double batches and have leftovers. Choose two different kinds of breakfasts. We usually flip flop between oatmeal and waffles. It doesn't have to be super complicated. Tip number four is to put a calendar on your fridge. We, can you see it from here? No, you, oh, well, maybe right there. Yeah, <laughs> right there is our fridge calendar. And it's just a dry erase calendar and I write everything on it, all of our family appointments, uh, if we have play dates, if we have family visiting us, if my husband has meetings at work, everything goes on that calendar there for my husband and I to see every single day. And if we're on the phone or something and someone's like, hey, can you do this on this day? We can both look at that calendar and say yes or no. And I feel like that's just been such a 
key homemaking thing that we've done. It helps our household run really smoothly. My last tip for this video is to declutter as much as you can, as often as you can. I know this is a huge trend happening right now, like minimalism, decluttering, you know, you could be rolling your eyes. I'm not a minimalist, but I do like to declutter and I have very much found the value in it. The less stuff you have, the less you have to clean up. The less clutter in your house, the easier it feels to take care of your house. Go room by room or even drawer by drawer and just pick things out. Make a Goodwill pile by your front door. Do I need this? Do I need two of these? And just start getting rid of stuff that you don't actually need in your house. For me, it makes the house just feel cleaner by default. I don't know, I just feel like I can breathe. It just feels better to not have so much stuff and for the stuff that we do have to actually have places that it belongs in our house because I'm not cramming everything into our closet or cramming everything into a drawer. Happy wife, happy life is kind of legit. If you can do stuff like that to make your house feel more manageable, then I definitely recommend it. Those are all the tips I have for today's video for homemaking for beginners. If you have more questions about homemaking or if you want me to elaborate on something, take a pause right now and just leave it in the comments and I will respond to you. Make sure you're subscribed if you want to see more Mom Talk Monday and I will see you in the next one.